The following is an unofficial free-to-watch story commemorating Ash's 25-year journey in the Pokemon anime. Please support the Pokemon Company, Game Freak, and Nintendo at all their official sources. Enjoy. Oh, man. <laughs> 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 and then he says, hey, I'll use my trusty frying pan as a drying pan. <laughs> oh, can you guys just let that die already? I said that years ago, just once. <laughs> Come on, Brock. It's your most famous one-liner. You gotta own it. It's been great catching up, guys, but I'd better get going. Big day tomorrow. W wait, you're leaving so soon? Oh, that's right. Your world final match with Lance is tomorrow. Lance has been on a real streak this year. If I don't come with my best, he's gonna take me down for sure. Oh. Pikachu should be done catching up with the others at Professor Oaks. I'll see you later, guys. Hey, Misty! Earth to Misty! Are you really gonna let him leave without saying anything again? Well, I... Well, I know at least a couple girls who make a move if you don't. <laughs> uh. <laughs> hey! Ash! Have you seen Serena or May recently? What does that have to do with anything? Why are you getting weird all of a sudden? Who are you calling weird? After all these years, you're still a dumb kid! I swear, Ash Ketchum, you'll never grow up! <sighs> that was so embarrassing! I was stupid to think he was any different! Stupid, stupid! Hey, Misty. Actually, I wanted to ask you something, too. Well, I was wondering if... You'd like to... Hang out sometime. For lunch! You like lunch, right? It'll just be the two of us, though. Lunch? Yeah, sure. Whoa, would you look at that? It's the end of the world. That's great! Well, I'm off then. I'll see you soon. Oh, and guys, thanks for rooting for me all these years. Hard to believe that stubborn little kid's now the defending Pokemon World Champion, huh, Brock? Well, one thing's for sure. I wouldn't want to be his opponent. <laughs> she said yes! I was pretty smooth, wasn't I, Charizard? <laughs> With each trainer only having one Pokémon left, this year's World Championship Finale is proving to be high drama! <laughs> Charizard! Dragon Breath! You're getting ahead of yourself, Ash. Dragonite and I won't go down to an attack like that. I <laughs> didn't think so. Charizard, let's kick it up a notch. Mega Evolve! <laughs> they may look tough, but you and I... We got this. All right, Charizard, let's end this in style. <laughs> Dragonite and I won't be overpowered. Let's show them our mega evolution. Blast Bird! Mega Dragonite, use Hurricane and blow the flames away! Work, Dragonite. Now, where is it hiding? Good job getting in close, Charizard. Now use Dragon Claw. <laughs> what? Dragon Claw had no effect. That means. That's right, Ash. Mega Dragonite gains the Fairy Typing, making it immune to its previous weaknesses to Dragon-type moves. <laughs> now there's no escape! You've made a grave mistake, Ash, and your winning streak is over. Let's finish this. Dragonite Hyper Beam! <laughs> you almost had me, Lance. But Charizard's got more weapons than you think. What? Iron Tail! Now Steel Wing! I can't believe it. A 
after all that, I lost. Darn. I was so close. Beko. No kidding. That was one of the closest battles I've ever had. It could have gone either way. I never thought I'd be looking up at you like this. You've really come a long way, kid. <laughs> at least this year's world champions from Kanto again. <laughs> there is that. Fan signings are after the press conference. If you want an autograph, you'll have to wait till then. That was a good show, champ. Seems like you're the trainer who's done just about everything. But you and I both know you still have some unfinished business to wrap up. Oh? And what might that be? Let's cut to the chase. I know where Giovanni is. Huh, I can see you're interested. Well then, come with me. The mysterious stranger brings Ash to the bell tower at Ekrutik City in the Johto region. We're here. This is the bell tower. Make your way to the roof and you'll find him there. Before I go anywhere, I want to know something. Considering who he is to you, I'm surprised you'd sell him out like this. Yeah? Tell me why. It's about time he realizes that Pokemon aren't just tools to further his ambitions. He's been wrong about them for a long time, and unless he learns this lesson, he'll never stop trying to revive Team Rocket. I'd imagine if there's anyone he'd listen to, it'd be you. Why do you need me? Well, unfortunately, you're wrong about that. Blood is just about the only thing my father and I share. You, on the other hand, you have more in common with him than you think. What do you mean? Easy there. I didn't mean it like that. Truth is, he asked for you. I wouldn't have brought you here if I didn't think you'd make a difference. In fact, I make it a point to steer clear of my father's business. Also, thanks to you and your friends, the old man doesn't have many resources left. Trust me, it's just him up there. <sighs> Listen, if you want a chance to bring him in, this is it. I'll stand guard out here to make sure nobody else gets in. Now it's best you get going. If this really is a chance to bring him in, I guess I should take it. Alright then. Hey, Mr. Silver. Thanks. And sorry about earlier. You can drop the Mr. It's just Silver. And if you can get through to him, that'll be thanks enough. Get going. He isn't a fan of waiting. Father, if what you told me is true, he might be the only one that can change your mind. Ash. I hope you're ready. Do you really believe the twerp can get through to the boss? I don't know. We have to let this play out, and hope that he can. Come to think of it, this is the first time the kids face him alone without his friends. Do it, twerp. Thanks, Charizard. So I guess Silver was right. It really is just you. What happens now? Is this where you try to get rid of me? Again? No, not this time. The years have taught me that a battle with you will be of no benefit to me. Instead, I am here to give you a rare opportunity. To take revenge against your father's killer! I've had enough of you people being so cryptic! What are you talking about? You really don't know anything, do you? Well, I suppose I am partially the one to blame for that. Giovanni! You'd better start giving me straight answers or I'll force them out of you! So this is what it takes to rattle the world champion. What would your adoring public say if they saw you this way? But fine. If it's answers you want, I will give you the truth. Your mother no doubt has told you that your father was a great trainer, yet the Pokémon League has no record of him. The world never knew his name, but I remember him well. I am the one who watched him die, and I alone will bear that burden forever. You will learn of the events that robbed you of a father. There! That is the site of your father's demise! So, Geo, care to explain why we came all the way out to the Johto region? I mean... We don't know anything about this place, let alone the Pokémon. You mean you don't know anything about this place? I actually met my wife here in Johto. Two guys climbing up a tower to watch the sunset. You're not coming on to me now, are you, Gio? <laughs> <laughs>
You fool! Sometimes I wonder how you ever caught a legendary Pokemon. We're here because this is where Ho-Oh was last sighted. Oh, wow, no kidding! So, how long ago was this sighting? Oh, give or take a hundred and forty years. Are you crazy? You call that a lead? I can't believe I put off going home for this! Listen, my kid's birthday's coming up, so if you don't mind, I'd like to show him the legendary Pokemon I actually have before dumb luck kicks in and it flies off on me. Knowing Delia, she's probably telling my little Ash that his dad's a great trainer. After all this time, maybe I finally have something that makes that less of a lie. I can show them that you don't need to have gym badges and league titles to be considered a great trainer. So it's Sato the Legend Seeker, is it? Just imagine how impressed your son will be when you bring home two legendary Pokémon. Legend Seeker? I like the sound of that. You know, my old man was the one who got me hooked on finding legendary Pokémon. He'd spend all this time away from home looking for him. I remember thinking what a waste of time it was, until one day, I decided I'd go with him on one of his expeditions. That's when we saw it. Mew! The mythical Pokémon. That day changed everything for me. Mew, huh? You don't say. It really exists? Yup. Say, Geo, you have a little man too, don't you? <laughs> He's not so little now, but yes, I too have a son. If this lead pans out, we're gonna be the coolest dads in Kanto! So, Geo, tell me about this plan of yours. With pleasure. Over a century ago, this structure was known as the Brass Tower, and it was as tall as the Bell Tower to the east of the city. It is said the tower burned down in a lightning storm, and three unnamed Pokémon perished with it. As rainfall eventually doused the flames, Ho-Oh appeared. Legend has it, Ho-Oh not only revived the three Pokémon, but made them vastly more powerful. These Pokémon became known as the legendary beasts. Entei, Raikou, and Suicune. A Pokémon with the power to create other legendary Pokémon. That would truly be the ultimate capture. So you see, my plan, Sato, is to recreate the events from the legend. Ninetales, use flamethrower! Geo, what are you doing? Don't worry, those Pokemon will not be harmed. Come on, Ho-Ho, show yourself to me! Mommy! I'm putting a stop to this. I choose you, Latios. Geo, you are completely out of line. What were you thinking? Sato, calm down. I, I just... I don't want to hear it. After this, that's it. I don't ever want to see you again. How could you do that to innocent Pokemon? Sato let loose a few more of their Pokémon, but their efforts proved futile in the face of the furious Ho-Oh. No, our Pokémon don't stand a chance. Not against something like this. Geo, please, take my Pokémon. Get them somewhere safe. You can do that, can't you? I'm gonna distract him. You run! Ho-Oh, -ho, over here!
Masato. Your father idolized these legendary Pokémon, creatures that are supposed to represent the pinnacle of their kind. Yet despite their reverence, they are nothing more than beasts without conscience nor remorse. Nature has mistakenly entrusted them with far too much power, but humankind will prevail with the strongest of us at the helm. <coughs> you now know the truth, young champion. Today is the day we finally exact our revenge. Today we will destroy Ho-Oh. Now, with the clear bell in my hand and a trainer recognized by Ho-Oh as having a pure heart, we will summon it here. This is what we've been training for. This time we will not fail. This is justice for Sato! Golem, Tyranitar, Stone Edge! Darn you, you won't do as you like this time! Attack! Gengar! That's enough! We got you! Pokemon are not meant to be this way, don't you get it? This is not what my father would have wanted for them. For any Pokemon! This pressure, it's just like back then. I, I'm not afraid of you. Mark my words, you will kneel. Boy, get out of my way. You didn't come here to fight, Ho-Oh. I can feel that. But I need to ask you, is it true? Is my father dead? Did you kill him? Young ass. I encountered this man and your father many seasons ago. It is also true that I was the one who struck him down. You see? It admits it! These creatures don't deserve our respect! They deserve only what I decide! Charizard, attack! <laughs> You! How dare you show your face here! You dishonored your trainer! You fled a coward and abandoned his memory! You will not deny my revenge! Get out of my way! Huh? This... is my father's Pokémon? He really did have a legendary Pokémon! And these Pokémon... they were his too, weren't they? I remember now. Gyarados, Jolteon, Charizard. I can sense the pain you've been living with for so long. But anger? Revenge? They won't take that pain away. It's not what your trainer would have wanted. Let me help you. I'm alright! Burns like this are nothing, right Charizard? <laughs> You're tired of feeling this way, aren't you? You've held on to that anger for so long. It's time to let go and be free. It's what Sato would have wanted. Guys, meet my son, Ash. This little guy, he'll be the best like no one ever was. I want you to help me look out for him, all right?
Hi, Ash. Well, I can't believe how tall you've gotten. Dad, is that really you? I, I don't know where to start. What, what's happened to you? Well, to be honest, son, I'm not sure I can explain it so well. I guess you could say I've become a part of OO. I don't understand. How did you get this way? I can better explain. The day I met your father, I was summoned not by ritual, but by the desperate cries of Pokemon. Blinded by rage and believing him to be the cause, I struck down your father. By the time I realized my mistake, it was too late. His body was completely destroyed. However, your father's purity allowed his spirit to survive, but only for a few fleeting moments. I absorbed his lingering spirit, binding it to mine. My powers of resurrection only work on other Pokémon, so this is all I could do to preserve him. I am truly sorry. Ash, I know there's nothing I can say that can make up for not being around. There must have been so many times when you needed me. I know how you must feel about me. I... I messed up. I'll never have that time back. I always knew that you were out there, Dad. Now that I know the truth, I couldn't be more proud. You put yourself in harm's way to save your friends, your Pokemon, even when you knew what would happen. Mom always said you were a great trainer. I can see that now. <laughs> I just wish I had your luck. Man, you've gotten away with everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't miss everything. I was there on your first day as a trainer. <laughs> you sure did fail your fair share. But I was there when you showed the world that you're the best, like no one ever was. I couldn't be more proud to be your dad. Hey guys, what's with that look on your faces? <laughs> You gotta come over here or what? I missed you all so much. I'm sorry to worry you. I hope you can forgive me for putting you through all this. Hey, quit with the waterworks, all right? Gotta look cool in front of the kid. You're wrong about them, Geo. Pokemon and humans must work together as equals, not two opposite forces trying to dominate the other. It won't end well. You have to know that by now. S Sato! I'm sorry. It's my fault you've been reduced to this state. It's not me you need to apologize to, and I won't allow my death to be any justification for what you've done. I've watched you through the eyes of Oh, -Oh the harm you've caused Pokemon and any humans who didn't agree with you. It's not too late for you to change, Geo, but you have to make that choice yourself. Silver, my son. Father, he seems different. Well, well. That's all the time I have, huh? I guess I have to go. Remember, Ash, the map to your goal is inside yourself. Only you can decide where it leads and how far it'll take you. Tell your mother I... <laughs> You're not gonna get off that easy. You're gonna tell her yourself. Because I'm gonna find a way to bring you back. And when I do, you and I are gonna have a battle. You got it, kid. Ash, I am truly sorry. Because your father is human, I do not have the power to grant him a new body. This is the best I can do. That's fine. I'll find a way to bring him back. In the meantime, Ho-Oh, take care of my dad, would you? If there's one thing I know for sure, in this world of Pokemon, Nothing is impossible. I'll bring you home, Dad. I promise. Hey, yo, guys, and thank you for watching my final original project for the year. Let us know in the comments below if you want to see more content just like this. I just want to say thank you to everyone who supported my work this year, and honestly, after three and a half years, I wouldn't still be doing this if I didn't have you guys. This project in particular has been a labor of love, you know, lots of 12 hour days, 7 days a week. So those out there grinding, yeah, you know I'm right there with you. 
Check out the stunningly talented cast and crew in the description box below. Monty Thompson, David J.G. Doyle, Fluffbat, and Josh from Team DBU, and special guests DDRMR, Kimlin Tran, and Charu Sharu, and to the amazing Big Rice Piano, the soundtrack to my YouTube journey. And also thank you to the Rising Fist Patreon members who support me every step of the way. Let's give it up one more time. Sin Overlord 17, Nick Lartz, Fizzy, Brandon Stella, Sergeant Boomer, James Wycliffe, No Name, Lee Urquides, Jacob Warden, Afro Shogun, Sacred Saiyan, Prod by Rose, Lewis Perkins, Ethan Yeatstar, Regor Command, Mr. Person Zero, Matchwood, Brinston Murray, Spearman Dorsey, Vegeta T23, and Nabs FX. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you guys real soon. Peace.